Add in product categories. Click setting, under settings tab. Now, go to product categories, under inventory tab. Then click, add a category button. Add a category screen appears. Now fill name, parent category, and upload image, related to the product category. Now click create. Add in products. Click products, under inventory tab. Then click add product button. Now fill sub name. Click here to fill more details. Now fill primary tab. Purpose tab. Display tab. Reorder tab. Account category tab. Units tab. And inventory tab. Then click create. Design. Click Design, under Inventory tab. Now, click Add a Design button. Fill Name, Notes, Code, then click Create. Brands. Click Brands, under Inventory tab. Then click, Add a Brand button. Add a Brand screen appears. Fill Name, Notes and code. Now click create. Style. Click style under inventory tab. Now click add a style button. Add a style screen appears. Then fill name, notes and code. Now click create. Size. Click Size, under Inventory tab. Now click, Add a Size button. Add a Size screen appears. Then fill Name, Notes, and Code. Now click Create. Color. Click Color, under Inventory tab. Now click, Add a Color button. Add a color screen appears. Then fill name, notes, and code. Now click create. Designing barcode stickers. Our sales executives and telecallers will help you to design your barcode stickers efficiently. Hardware needed. We guide you, to use your existing hardware, or buying a new one to use Reach Accountant software, efficiently. Add in cash options. Click Account Ledgers, under Accounting tab. Then click, Add a Account button. Select a group name. Name of the ledger, Opening Balance, Enable Taxable Ledger and enter tax code. Now click create. Add in vendor. Now click vendor setting, under purchase tab. Then click add vendor button. Fill the business name, account ID, vendor BRN, vendor code, vendor type. Email, mobile, website, invoice address. Shipping information. Then fill opening balance, products. Ledger in accounts information. Now click create. Setting up business profile. Click profile, under admin tab. Now click edit. Fill name, and mobile number. Then click Save. General Settings. Click General Setting, under Income tab. Now click Edit. Add Financial Year Starting, and Ending Date. 
Select Transaction and Settings Page Size. Enable the Number Editable, Allow Backdate Entries, and Fill POS Settings. Then map all the field to Ledger. You can also fill the Salesman Commission. You can also prevent POS page by giving passwords for reprint, edit, POS, discounts. Then click save. Creating users. Click users under income tab. Now click add a user button. Here you can give your user access restriction. Fill mobile number. Then click save. Creating security restrictions. Click generate OTP under admin tab. Then click Edit button. Enable the checkbox to generate OTP. Fill mobile number and click Save. Then go to Login Restriction. Then click Edit button. You can restrict the access of users based on time and IP address. Now click Save. Setting up backups. Click Auto Email Backup under Admin tab. Now click Edit. Fill Backup Email and Time. Then click Save. Customizing Tab Menu. Click Tab Menu under Admin tab. Then click Add Module Customization button. Now select a module name and fill display name. Then click create. Now, the name of the tab is changed. Creating SMS and email templates. Click SMS templates under admin tab. We can also edit the template. Then click save. Now click email templates under admin tab. Default templates will be available. We can also edit the template. Then click save. Setting up POS invoice template. Click create template under sales tab. Then click add templates button. Now select setting type from drop down menu. Fill template name. Choose template and set decimal points, payment type, account head, terms of payment, notes and terms. Then fill the additional fields which will help while preparing the invoice. Now, do the necessary changes in print settings and enable which is required field. Then click Create. Designing your bill. Click POS Settings under Sales tab. You can do the necessary changes for print the receipt. Then click Save. Loyalty Management. Click Loyalty Management under Sales tab. Click Add Loyalty Point button. Select Customer Type. Type of Program. Fill Percentage or Value Details. Point Value. Select the Status. Now click Create. Gift Vouchers. 
Click Gift Voucher under Sales tab. Click Add Gift Voucher button. Fill Gift Code Number. Select Discount Type. Fill Discount. Minimum Bill Value. Maximum Bill Value. Validity Start Date. Validity End Date. Customer Type. Usage of the Gift Voucher whether it is single or multiple and select the status. Now click Create. Setting up discounts. Click Discounts, under Inventory tab. Then click Add a Discount button. Fill name of the discount, code, invoice name. Choose whether the discount based on, invoice value, or specified items. If it is specified items, you can select the item name, or if it is invoice value, you can fill the greater than value. Then fill the discount details, and duration details. Now click save. Setting up taxes. Click tax class, under accounting tab. Now click, add tax class button. Fill tax class name, code, remarks, then click create. Go to accounting tab, and click tax. Then click, add tax button. Now fill, tax name, map with tax class, abbreviation, tax type, tax subtype. Map with ledger. Fill the tax rate. Then click create. Setting up accounting ledgers. Click account ledgers, under accounting tab. Then, add a account button. Select a group name, account ID, name of the ledger, alias name, opening balance, taxable ledger, and tax code. Now click save. Billing a customer. Click POS, under Sales tab. Select POS user, and POS type. Now click, Start Selling button. Go to Sales Bill tab. Select a customer name, code. Then change the quantity. Choose the mode of payment, then fill the amount column, and select Sales Person. Then click Save and Print. Exchange. Select customer name, enter the code, for new purchased product. Now click on exchange button. Then enter the code, for return product, and click save. Now click, save and print bill button. Refund, or credit note. Go to credit note, under sales tab. Click, Add Credit Note button. Select Customer Name, Product, and fill the relevant details, then click Save. Now click Action tab, and click Add Payment. Fill the Relayvet details, and click Save. Receiving Cash. Click Reports, now click, Daily Collection Report. Select the user, and click Collect Cash button. Then Journal page pops up, to capture the amount to accounting. Fill the relevant details, and click Save. Doing a day end settlement. End of the day, when the billing person closed the counter, he needs to do the settlement. Once you close the POS screen, it will ask for do you want to settle counter for the day. Now click yes. Fill the amount, according to the column. Then click save. Recording supplier bills and payments. Click bill, under purchase tab. Now click, add a bill button. Select vendor name, product and fill the relevant details. Then click Save. Click Action tab.
and click Add Payment. Fill the relevant details and click Save. Daily Sales Report Click Reports. Now click Sales Report. You can see the report based on date, particulars, invoice number, TIN or sales tax number, notes, quantity, sales amount, cost price, tax amount, round off, gross total, profit or loss, sales. You can also filter, based on the tabs given here. Daily Settlement Report Click Daily Collection Report, under Report tab. Select Date, and Users. Then click, Collect Cash button, a page will pop up, for doing journal transactions. Give Description, and select an account for debit, and credit side. Then click Save. Bulk Purchase Order Click Purchase Order, under Purchase tab. Now click, Add Bulk Purchase Order button. Filter Product, by choosing Vendor, or Category, or Subcategory, or Product Name, or Barcode. The product list will appear, with specified details. You can order the product, by giving the quantity, unit price, discount, and tax. Then click Save. Fast Moving Products Go to Fast Moving Products, under Report tab. Click Advanced Search. Filter by Date, Fast Moving, and Slow Moving Products. It will show the reports, based on the filter. Inventory Aging Then click Aging Stock Report. Here, you can see the item details. Total number of quantity, the product lesser than 45 days, 45 to 90 days, greater than 90 days. Compilation Stock Report Click Compilation Stock Report. You can see the reports, based on item name, product code, selling price, vendor name, opening balance, inwards, outwards and closing balance. You can also filter based on the tabs given here. Profit and Loss Report Click Profit and Loss. You can see the income particulars and expense particulars. You can also filter based on the tabs given here. Balance Sheet Click Balance Sheet. You can see, current liability, and current assets. You can also filter, based on the tabs given here.